What's up with you? For today's video, we're with full Ice Body Ability Pokemon Team. This team is all based around Hail and the ability Ice Body. Ice Body heals you for 1 16th every turn as long as the Hail is in effect, right? Which is quite good if it can couple of items like leftovers or maybe some other healing moves as well. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, we will make sure you do this right. Do all my live streams for my Pokemon theme teams. Pokemon Sweep, Shiny Hunts, all the forms of Salty Entertainment. Now, earlier on today, this today's actually a double upload, I did a Gravity Pokemon team, all based around Gravity Move and all the strategies, so make sure you check that one out as well. It was probably uploaded, I don't know, about four or five hours earlier than this. All right, this is a battle against Ty, and we got a Pinchurchin lead, and I've got my Mr. Rhyme just in time. Now, this Mr. Rhyme lead is a troll set. I've got Hail, Ice Fuel Sphere, Double Kick, mainly there to use with the King's Rock there, right? So firstly, we're going to set the Hail up. So with the King's Rock, right, you can go for Ice Fuel Sphere and hopefully you get as many hits as possible, right? And if you can get a flinch, then you get the flinch, you'll get the damage from the Ice Fuel Sphere and you get the damage from the Hail all at the same time, right? And hopefully it'll work. Now, the Pitch Agent is going to go for Toxic Spikes and it's going to be able to easily get two of them up on the field, which is a little bit of a shame. I can also see that it's got the item leftovers too. Now, I've got Zen Headbutt on there too. Zen Headbutt already has a chance of flinching, so I thought I'd just whack that on as some stat and we've got this one as jolly nature and max attack max speed run so now we're going to go for the ice wall there uh mr rhyme's going to fire some ice out of its pp it literally is like look at this ready look at this thrust there we go <laughs> what anyway so we're going to get three hits there we're going to get four hits on the uh pitch urchin and that was pretty good like i can't complain now the pitch urchin is going to go for a second layer of toxic bikes which is going to be uh that's going to be a bit of a pain there, right? Because all my Pokemon swapping into that are uh, going to be badly, very, very badly poisoned. So I feel like if I can get maybe four to five... Well, five should nearly take this out. Four hits, if I can get a fling, should be able to take uh, this one out. But it, it's quite a bulky Pokemon run. So we're going to fire some more Ice Wall Spheres off there at the little uh, pin church. And that was, uh, that was three... Uh, that was four right there, hoping for like one more to take it out. I got a crit on that one, by the way, and I hit four times again. And I got a flinch, so it's really, really good. So we're going to get the flinch and some extra hail damage. Our pin church is going to get its uh, leftover recovery, but all I can do now is just select any one I moves to finish off this. So I decided to go for a little bit of a disrespect double kick here. And bye-bye, pin church. And uh, pin church did set up the toxic spike, so, so I guess that its role was done. Now, the next Pokemon to slide onto the field, and this is actually quite a good Pokemon that could work on my team, is uh, Sphiel. So, I just got to uh, uh, Sphiel with it, people. So, I've got Double Kick here, and I've got Zen Head, but obviously, I'm not going to go for Ice Wheels here, because this thing probably has, like, Thick Fat, and it'll do, like, like two damage anyway, right? So, going for Double Kick, I mean, it is what it is, right? That wasn't the greatest, like, damage in the world there, and I'm going to get the two hits there, right? And Sphiel's going to go for Rest as soon as I attack her, so... Obviously, they're going. Maybe they've got Snore or something like that. I'm not sure. It just it, whenever the opponent uses Rest straight away, you know they want to be asleep, right? Or maybe it's got Sleep Top. At this stage, Mr. Rhyme can't do that much damage, so I'm going to reset the Hail up because obviously the Hail has stopped there, and I'm probably going to swap into another Pokemon. Now, on my team, I want to have a couple of Pokemon with Icy Rock too, so I could extend that Hail out to eight turns instead of five, so I wouldn't have to keep setting up like all the time, right? Anyway, this is a sheer cold spiel, which is not going to work against any of my team, but I feel like they've got another move, otherwise they would not have swapped it in. So going into Vanillax this time, I'm going to get a poison there. I've got a max attack and max speed set. We've got Hail, Aurora Veil, Explosion, and Icicle Crash, right? Now we've got the Sphiel going for its second Sleep Talk here, and Sphiel is going to get a classic Pip Knight Sleep Talk rest. It, it feels good when someone else gets it, but not me, right? I can get a little bit salty there, right? So, um, my options here are fairly limited. I could set up the Veil here, or I could just go boom on this uh, little sphere here. Either one of them are going to do the job right. I'm thinking I should get some damage on this thing, and then attack it with the next incoming Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and do that. Rather than setting up the Veil there, I don't want to sort of uh, let this thing uh, go to sleep again. So, exploding here on this field, doing very good damage. Obviously, it's an Everlight set. You can see that a uh, mile away, and I'm going to be fading. So, exploded ice cream everywhere. So this has Fissure as well. I had a feeling it could have Fissure. So Sheer Cold Fissure, Sleep Talk, and Rest. I've actually run a very, very similar set on my Warrape. 
Now, going into Reg Ice here, probably a better Pokemon on my team, one of the best ones here. I've got this as a max uh, special attack and max health set. Popping a Zap Cannon off there, it landed, and Sphere is going to go down. I don't know whether Sphere would have gone for rest there, but I know like a Fissure or a rest was happening. So I was very, very uh, glad to get rid of that. The other moves I gave it were Ancient Power, uh, Frostbeth, and Zap Cannon. So if we Frostbeth, I can get those critical hits. And Ancient Power maybe allows me to get a stat boost if I'm really, really lucky, right? I've got the item as Icy Rock here. So in comes uh, the little, uh, I nearly called it uh, Baldor. There in comes Rock and Roller. Ancient Power gives me a boost fresh off the start there, which is great. I'm, I'm as fresh as a daisy right now. So I've got plus one and everything, and now we've got another explosion. So first we had a, uh, an ice cream explode. Now we've got like a little pebble explode, right? And look at the sweet damage it does to Red Guys. If I didn't get that defensive boost there, I'd say I would have definitely fainted for sure. Like after the toxic damage, you know, um, from the toxic spikes at the start. So I've got one good turn left in me here, people, and then I'm definitely going to fade. And the next Pokemon is uh, Nidorino. You don't get to see Nidorino too often. Uh, Nidorino could get hit hard by any of these moves. I've got Frostbeth. I was like, let's set the hail up there. I, I probably missed. Let's be real. Uh, it's going to outspeed me, and it's going to be a special set with Venno Shock, and Reg Ice is going to go down. So I can sort of see um, how this set is working. Maybe it's like a combination with the Pinchurchum. Uh, Nidorino isn't the greatest special attacker, but, you know, that double base power with Venoshock does make it, like, a lot more potent than it was before, right? So we're going to go into uh, Mr. Rhyme here. Nidorino is going to be swapping out this time, and Kingdra is going to be coming in here. And it's uh, it's all pink and purple and uh, ready to go. So I'm going to go for the Hail here because Hail is, uh, we want pretty much with this team, when I could set the Hail up, I pretty much had to do it right away there. That was sort of like the challenge with this team. I couldn't let the uh, hail not or the salt flow, right? So getting some uh, hail up here, which is very, very good. Now, with this Kingdra, I could probably uh, maybe try and get some flinch there. It's going to outspeed me and go for focus energy. I'm like, uh-oh, this is this is bad. So I go for the ice flow. I'm praying here that I can get, like, five hits because, uh, you know, Kingdra's pretty thick, right? Like, I I'm going to need, like, a good five hits and a little bit of hail there, right? So getting, so, uh, like, a good amount of hits here on the Kingdra, I was very, very happy about this. I got, like, all five hits, which is great. The only bad thing was, right, I didn't go first. So there was no chance of me flinching it, yeah? Now Kingdra, right, um, is going to be, uh, if it doesn't take me out this turn, it's in range for me to take out. Ice Body's going to kick in there, and uh, Poison's going to, you know, do a little bit of damage there. Now, now Kingdra will go down to a uh, Ice Wall Sphere. I'm quite confident. I'm, I'm feeling in a, in a lucky mood here, and now it's going to pop out a Hyper Burn. Like, if this is a crit... Uh, this is this is really going to hurt, and Mr. Rhyme gets absolutely dominated in one shot there uh, by a critical hit Hyper Beam. So bye-bye, Mr. Rhyme. Um, this is not... I mean, it wasn't good, right, but it's not bad because now I've got a free turn. Like, this is free real estate, right, for my Avalon. Now, I'm going to be running a special Avalon today. It gets some cool moves that uh, actually were supported with the hail. So this set is a Rock Polish set with uh, Blizzard Round, Hydro Pump, and we've got Throat Spray as the item here. We've got Max Speed and Max Special Attack. Um, and I've got this as Modest Nature. So boosting my speed by two stages here. Kingdra is uh, going to destroy me if it lands any special hit. So I need to be able to take it out right away uh, before I can do any damage right. So Blizzard, as you know, is going to be 100% actually in the uh, hail here. So I can go for Blizzard and easily take this out. Even though it doesn't have the greatest special attack in the world, Kingdra doesn't have much health left, right? And I was planning maybe to get that round off Maybe against the Nidorino when it comes in there, or what the other Pokemon is like. One of those. And then I might be able to, you know, sweep the rest of this team. Maybe. That was the idea there. The only problem that Avalar gets special defense is really, really trash, right? So I had to uh, watch out. So next Pokemon is uh, the Nidorino here. And Nidorino, I'm probably guessing, is going to go for a Venoshock here. Now, there's no hail happening at the moment. So I thought, well, let's get the round up, and then I can go for... I could possibly go for Dynamax... Uh, uh, Hailstorm after that run. So go for round on the uh, Nidorino here. I thought I might miss with Blizzard and Hydro Pump as well. Looking at the damage that I just did to Nidorino, I feel like I wouldn't have... I don't think I would have taken out... Anyone would have got close, but I probably would have needed a critical hit there, right? Uh, Venoshock is going to demolish me. So bye-bye, uh, Avalon. Perhaps I should have gone for a Hydro Pump with Blizzard there. I believe it wouldn't have mattered. It still would have lived there, right? So we're going to go to Glaceon. This is a, a, a fifth uh, Ice Body Pokemon here. This is a, uh, a physical set. I've got this one as Max Health and Max Attack. And I've got Avalanche on this. So I can go, when I go second, I'm going to get a nice big fat power boost. I've got Aqua Tail and Iron Tail as well. And Double Kick. 
for Max Knuckle. I do like to run the physical Lacey on. It's pretty fun. You can Dynamax and you can boost your attack at the same time. Uh, the item is Assault Fest. So it's very, very bulky. And you've also got the added effect of Ice Body healing you uh, at the end of every single turn as well, which is quite good. Now we've got a double Dynamax here. Oh, I thought I was only going to be the one Dynamaxing, but we've got the Nidorino going for Dynamax too. So when you look at it, Nidorino, um, its Venoshot will be more powerful than a Dynamax Max Ooze, but I'd say maybe they're going to try and boost a special attack and then, you know, have an even more powerful Venoshock after the, you know, Dynamax, uh, you know, runs out there. The problem is there, Glaceon with Dynamax and Assault Fest is going to be like, you know, stupidly bulky, right? It's going to need like a really, really powerful move just to do any damage to it, like whatsoever. I know I'm poisoned, but... It's going to need a lot, right? So uh, here comes the Max Ooze from the Nid Arena. I thought this would be the case. And uh, that's going to be a plus one there. So I can easily hit this. I reckon I can take this out in two shots, right, with my uh, Glacier. So setting up the Max Hailstorm here, which is going to do some very, very good damage to, to Nid Arena there, considering Glaceon's, like, horrible attack stat, right? And now we've got the Hail Flying. So that's going to heal me up at the end of the turn. Now I'm going to need to take another uh, Max Ooze from Nid Arena here, but I know that I can take it out the next turn because I've got that... You know, that uh, the sort of damage range there, and I've got the uh, hail falling too. So there's no worries about taking it out in the next scene. They might try and go for Max Guard here to try and stall that Dynamax and then hit me with a more powerful Venoshock. There is that option too, but they would need to probably pull off two Max Guards in a row, which is very, very risky, right? So here comes a Max Ooze from Nidorino here. Um, as you know, that's not going to definitely not take me out. It's going to need like way more. Like I could probably live like two more of them. That was a crit too, like... That's sort of like how bulky the uh, Glaceon is with the self vest, right? So go for another Max Hailstorm here. This is going to take out Nidorino, as we noticed before. And now we've only got one more Pokemon left yet. And I'm in a good amount of health too. So, and I've also got a Pokemon that I feel like I could probably take out here, right? I didn't get any Max Knuckles up. That was probably the only bad thing there. So I, I didn't really take advantage of Double Kick and Dynamax. But it's okay. I can still hit uh, the next Pokemon with a fairly powerful attack. Now, the last Pokemon on their team is uh, Doug the Diggers B. Also, if you know what this theme team is too, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. Also, if you enjoyed these theme teams, people, please drop a like on the video too. I definitely would appreciate that. Now, we're going to get hit by a quick attack, and I'm going to get a Hailstorm off, and Doug the Diggers B is going to live pretty much because I didn't get any attack boost at all, right? And Diggers Bees are, uh, I'd say they're probably running max health. I'd say uh, the damage there is definitely max attack and max health. I'd say that the EVs are there for sure. Right? Could be choice band as well. Huge power choice band. So Glaceon is now at a Dynamax here. Here comes another quick attack. And I'd say absolutely that is choice band quick attack. So bye-bye Glaceon here right However, Doug the Diggersby is going to get spanked by the hail. And that is enough to take it out there. I didn't even need a cent in my last Pokemon. So thank you for the battle tie. Really, really cool team there. I must say I liked your uh, Nidorino, special Nidorino with the Venoshot. That was really cool. Okay, let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against uh, Cl Clum Hatch. I, I think I said that all right. I probably said that wrong. Like, if I did, you can just roast me in the comments. Section. It's all good. Now, the first Pokemon here is, is a rather curious Pokemon. It's your Vantor. So, like, okay. Let's set the hail up here, and I might be able to hit this with a good quality uh, ice school sphere. Should do some good damage, right? Uh, Yvonne's going to go for a Tawny. So like, okay, well, hail's not going to be able to go up the first turn. I actually might Dynamax here just to get hail up, like, because I need to set it up with all my other Pokemon. Like, say if I swap another Pokemon in, they'll probably just keep going taunt. So let's get the hail set up turn one, and at least then I might be able to get around this. It is a, uh, it is weak to the ice type, so I might be able to deal with it, and then yeah, I won't have to worry about getting taunted for the rest of the battle. Right? I like uh, Dynamax Mr. Rhyme to like out skips and, and hops on the spot there. So uh, we're going to go have a Gush Yavato. A Gush Yavato. Only got Pip Night Shadow Boost. So Taunt and Gust. That's, uh, I wonder if they had a Shark Beak there. So we're uh, going for the Max Hailstorm on Yavato. And that is going to do heaps of damage taking it out in one shot there. I don't think that mattered there. That critical hit, I'd say it would have dropped it anyway. Unless it was like really, really bulky. Like, like I don't know, crazy Max Health. Uh, max Defense is there. So uh, that's a good start there, getting my hail up. And uh, we're going to get some uh, Ice Body uh, healing my Mr. Rhine up. So I almost took no damage there. Now, the next Pokemon I'm coming in is going to be uh, Dunkles. I'm not sure what this theme team is either. So if, if you can guess both these theme teams, like, let me know in the comments section. I always like to know if you can uh, guess them. Because sometimes, uh, sometimes I miss them. Like, I'll be like, oh, I think this is this theme team, but I'm not too sure. Because I'll maybe recognize like one of the uh, you know one of the Pokemon characters. 
So Meteor Beam, unfortunately, is going to miss for the Arctivish, which is very, very bad, because that would have been some very good damage. I don't think it would have taken him out, but it would have done a good chunk there, right? Now, I'm going to get a free Max Knuckle, and I'm going to get some more Ice Body healing here. So um, I'm getting like close back to help. So uh, we got a Surf coming from Arctivish now. Obviously, they wouldn't go for another Meteor Beam there, because they would have to wait for a charge. And we're going to go for a second Max Knuckle, and that is going to dunk Dunkles there. So I've got plus two in attack right now which is very good. Like, Mr. Rhyme at the moment is quite a threatening Pokemon. So, Yavano and Arctivish are down. We've taken out a third of the team so far. And some more Ice Body healing, which is great there. Now, the next Pokemon to come onto the field is going to be Kling Clang, right? Now, obviously, it's going to go for a Steel move. What Steel move is it going to go for? I don't really know. Now, I've got Double Kick here for super effective damage. I went for Double Kick, and it's going to be a special Steel Beam set. Uh, yeah, there, there's no way I'm living that one. There's, like, way too much base power. Uh, it's going to take half health, and Mr. I'm is going to faint. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't ever going to be living that one, right? So, next Pokemon, I'm thinking about bringing into this. I need to bring something to do some damage, right? So, we'll go into Reg Eyes. So, Reg Eyes can go maybe a Zap Cannon or something like that. So, we got another Steel Beam here. It hit me very, very hard. Like, Reg Eyes has got huge special defense. So, that did an enormous amount of damage considering, uh, you know, Kling Fang's average special attack there, right? I guess the Steel Beam as a move is so strong, right? It's got such a high base power. So, bye-bye, Kling Clang, but that was a uh, a definitely a big hard hitter there. Almost took out two of my Pokemon. Next Pokemon is the Rufflin here. It's trying to rough me up. Close Combat has missed because it's got Hustle. Like, seriously, if I got hit by that Close Combat there, there's no way I would be living right. So, now the Hail is back up. I'm very, very happy about that. Now, it's going to be up for eight turns. A uh, little bit of damage on Ruffle there, and I'm going to get some more Ice Body damage. Uh, sorry, not damage, Ice Body healing back. Imagine if Ice Body, like, I don't know, like, there'd be like a dip, like, maybe, maybe like a uh, ability, right? I don't know, something body, but you get hurt by the weather that doesn't benefit you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of something really cool. Eh? Regardless, uh, my Reg Ice is going to get dropped there by the close combat, and my, uh, I don't know, my phone just went ding, I'm not sure if you hear that. Anyway, back to the battle. Uh, it's like, it's time to go for an exploding ice cream again here, right? So outspeeding the Rufflet, of course, uh, after that nice hustle miss. And that is going to be enough to take it out there. So it's a double KO. I'm very happy about that. That was a very scary poker. Like, with hustle and close combat, like, real talk, that would have, like, nearly... I'd say that nearly would have one shot of my entire team. I'm not even joking. So we're going to go into uh, Avalog now. And the next Pokemon here is going to be the uh, Lenoons. Like, okay, I wonder what Lenoon set is. It's going to go for protectors. Like, okay, it's probably going to have, I don't know, like a, a Flame Orb or a Toxic Orb, something like that. I went for Rock Polish anyway because I just wanted to get my speed up here, right? And I, I can take advantage of Blizzard here too, right? So a little bit of damage there on the Lenoon, and now it's going to have Toxic Orb. So it's a, uh, uh, I'd say it's a quick feat set. Now they're going to go for Switcheroo, so I'm going to get my items stolen. So they're going to get my Throat Spray, and I'm going to get the Toxic Orb. So I'm going to be poisoned here, which is uh, very unfortunate. So I go for Blizzard, and Blizzard does great damage. But as you know, Avalug's special attack is trash, right? So it wasn't going to one-shot it, but I was, I was happy with that, right? So the uh, Lenoon, I'm thinking what other moves it has. It probably has, like... I'd say it's got Facade, that works really well on a quick uh, feat set, however they're going to swap it out. So, like, okay, uh, we got Barry's T coming here, which is going to be Sinister. Sorry, not Sinister, Poltergeist. I always get those two mixed up, they're both pots of tea anyway, right? This is where the battle was sort of like very, very lengthy, right, as soon as this Pokemon came out. Now, you watch this, so we're about, we're about halfway through the battle now, right? And I'm thinking, okay, let's go for Blizzard. Let's get the damage on this thing, right? So Blizzard, it doesn't really do a lot. And then I get cursed, but it's like, okay, fine, right? I should be able to do some damage on Hydro Pump. Uh, now it's going to go for Hex. Since I'm already poisoned, I'm going to get dropped in one shot there, right? Uh, Poltergeist has got a lot of special attack. Even if they're, I'm not sure, even if they're running like a bulky set, it's still got a fair bit of special attack. And Avalug sucks in special defense, so it's going to get dropped. So it's got uh, Hex. I'm not really sure whether it's got a status move, but I'm going to try and find it out here with my Glaceon right. This, I thought, would be a good test. And as soon as I was thinking that, it's going to have will o -Wisp. So it's got will o -Wisp and it's got Hex. So it's going to be powered up 
uh, you know, there. And obviously, I went for Avalanche here to try and get some good damage. Now, Avalanche is going to do nothing. Look like, wait, it looked like for a second, right, that the, 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 the pot of tea was there, right? And you got the sugar and you poured the sugar into the pot. It did look like that, didn't it? It was more like snowy sugar, but you know what I'm saying, right? I don't put sugar in my tea anyway. Uh, I, I like to have, I like just the water, the tea, and the nice taste of the tea. No, no sweetness in it. That's just me personally. If you put sugar in your tea, then uh, more power to you. So I'm going to go for the uh, Iron Tail in. Of course, it's going to miss there. It's only a tiny teapot, I guess. I was trying to go for a, uh, a defensive drop there, but uh, to no avail. Now, Glaceon has got a Salt Vest, but uh, I'm getting hit by repeated Hexes here. So it's not very, very good. Glaceon is going to faint. So I've only got one more Pokemon left, and this is the Pokemon you didn't get to see in Battle 1. And the Pokemon I'm going to be using here is going to be the big bad Warren. So I have to include Warren on this team. It's a very bulky Pokemon. This set was super, super stally, right? And of course, this Poltergeist set was quite bulky itself, right? So I've got Hail, Protect, Akaring, and Whirlpool. I'm going to go for Whirlpool here, right? Uh, here comes a Hex on the Warrain. Obviously, that's not going to do a lot of damage there, right? And um, it's going to miss, so, which sucks. So I wanted to get this trapped in and get some damage. Now, I can see that's got leftovers too. And that's kind of bad because I want to get rid of this ASAP. Now, with this set, right, I've got three forms of recovery. I've got Ice Body when the hail is up. I've got Ring, and I've got Lefto. So, with Protect there, I get three recoveries each turn, which is like an enormous amount of recovery for a bulky Pokemon like Warring. Now, the EVs I was running on my Warring were max uh, health and max defense. Like, I wasn't even running any special defense EVs at all on this thing. So, I was taking them. I was taking them all right, but Hex was doing a lot of damage to Warring here, right? Now, this matchup went on for a fairly long while. As you can see, there's so many animations. Like, when you think about it, right? I've set the hail up. Hail's falling, right? Poltergeist gets hit. Well, I get healed by it. I've got Akaring, and I've got Leftos, and I've got Ice Body coming. Like, the amount of animations are crazy. And now, right, we'll add Whirlpool onto that as well. Like, the 20-minute timer, like, literally, like, it was just sucking the time up at this point, right? So I'm getting uh, I'm getting this down to, like, below a quarter health, right? But I feel like this Leftovers is really causing this battle to go, like, a long time, as well as all my recovery, too. Like, I just didn't know what I could do to it. I had to wait for Hail and Whirlpool, and that's it. I had no other moves. It's, it wasn't really designed to be versing, like, uh, like a Pokemon that could uh, heal like this, right? So uh, we got more Whirlpool damage. It's getting close to half health. Now they're going to uh, swap it out. So, okay, uh, this is the Lunoon from before, right? What is this going to do? Now, I was talking about Facade before, right? I was like, well, it's going to have Facade or it's going to have like, a Dark-type move here, right? So I got the Akaring up on the swap, which is great. Lenoon's only got one more, uh, like, turn left. I can hit it with a Whirlpool and take it out. Oh, it's going to it's gonna go down to Hail and Toxic anyway, right? So look at the amount of recovery this Warren is actually getting in them. It's crazy, like, super, super crazy. So all my recovery now, some uh, Toxic damage on the Lenoon here. As I said, this is Lenoon's only turn for it to do something. And I just went for Protect. I was like, I, I might as well go for it. I hadn't showed Protect yet. And they're going to go for Facade. I thought they had Facade. It works very, very good on that set. And Lanoon is going to faint. So now we're stuck with the uh, the Poltergeist and the Walrein matchup here. I was still quite hopeful that I could definitely beat it because I had like a lot more recovery than the Poltergeist. Poltergeist was doing a lot of damage to Hex, but I felt like I could still win at this stage, right? So, uh, bye bye, Lanoon. It is going to fade there to the toxic uh, damage there. I've actually done a, uh, a Zigzagoon evolution team before. A little while ago, did all the Zigzagoons and the Noons. Now, next Pokemon, as you know, is uh, the Poltergeist. So, I went for Protect here for a double Scumbra Protect. This is where I was like, oh, this is going to be a long matchup. So, it had Strength Sap, which sapped, uh, which sapped my strength, of course, and it's going to get all of itself back. Now, at this stage here, you know what both sets have got now. That's a Hex Poltergeist. It's got Strength Sap. I'm basically a pure stalling uh, Warren here. So I actually had to take a massive chunk out of this battle right, right to the end there. I took about five minutes worth of animations out there. Nothing really happened, but it got to the stage where I was just taking way too much damage from the... Uh, will o -Wisp and the Hex, and I was just doing no damage at all with Whirlpool and stuff like that. And Poltergeist pretty much outlasted me here. Pretty much because it had uh, 
the damage from Hex. Like, that was it. I didn't really have much offense on this Warring set. I could, I mean, I could have whacked Sheer Cold or some other troll move on there. I could have put Blizzard on there, but I decided to go for a fully passive set, and we ran it down to the end of the 20-minute timer. Thank you, 20-minute timer. I love you so much. Uh, thank you, Club Badge, for the battle there. Very cool team. Uh, I was very, very scared of that uh, Hustle Ruffin. All right, people. We'll catch you next time. Peace.